All right, in this video, we're going to look at two things that I've run across in regards to getting presets to show correctly. Whether you're getting a preset that someone else has shared or whether someone's having trouble viewing your preset. Uh, one thing here, this preset that we see right here, this looks all jacked up, right? I mean, I got two screens on my Nova Launcher. I'm just using my finger to navigate through this. But that right there looks all jumbled. I've mentioned this in a tutorial a while back. I just want to make sure I'm kind of hitting on two big things that I've noticed, especially since I just got the new Note 8. The aspect ratio is different. That's the one that it really did throw a, a wrench into the whole system of getting my presets to show correctly, whereas I was creating these on the S7 Edge. It totally changed it when I um, got the new device. But this one here, this is a very common one. When you're sharing presets, I would recommend, this is a practice I'm going to be doing too, is include the number of screens that you need for your preset to show correctly. For example, I only have two screens on my Nova Launcher right now. Well, if we go into KOWP, we're gonna see that this preset needs more than two screens. So if we go and load this preset again, and if we look at the base pack right there, look for bunch of text and notice in the description it says five screens so if i load that up i got the five screens in the advanced editor three of five is what i'm on right now and i can scroll through these and it's looking right here but we have to make sure we apply that to our nova launcher as well so on nova launcher again it still looks messed up because we have to apply five screens to that so i'm gonna do that real quick so now this thing still, okay, it looks good now. Sometimes you have to reload KOWP. I find that I don't have to do that as much anymore, but I remember way back I did have to do that. But as you can see here, the five screens, there's the one on the far right, then there's two, three, four, and then five. So that's looking like it should. Now, here's the newest one that I've run across. Uh, the aspect ratios of various devices are changing, so you're gonna see a big difference here. Let me load up the tutorial I just posted yesterday, that three-part series on sliding and shuffling stuff. Check this out. So I'm gonna load up that sliding stuff tutorial. Um, I just posted this on KOWP Toots. Now right now, it's gonna look just fine. It's gonna look just like it did yesterday when I was making this thing. Well, if I go and change my screen resolution, watch what happens. So I'm under my device settings, and if I go to display, and I go to screen resolution, and I bump this to HD+. Plus. Look at what that did. <laughs> it, it totally changed the way this thing looked because the resolution has changed and all these numbers. As you can see, the width has changed, the height has changed, you know, what KOWP is reading for width and height. So if your width and height are different than someone else's device, uh, this is becoming, I think it's going to become more of a norm as new devices roll out with the edgeless displays and all that stuff. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. I mean, if I start animating these things, stuff is going everywhere. Uh, I'm losing some squares and all that. So you have to make sure your screen resolution is correct. And you have to go into KOWP and probably adjust some Y offsets, some scales, all sorts of stuff here. Because if you remember in this tutorial, I was doing Y offsets of like 590 or something like that. Uh, so clearly that's going to change based on the width and the height of this screen as it's currently set up right now. That's something else to keep in mind. Let me show you one more. One of my older presets, Dr. Realm. Um, if I save that and apply it to the home screen, this looks jacked up. It looks way too big to compared to how it used to look. Um, so I'm gonna go adjust that screen resolution back to that middle setting that I had a moment ago. So on my screen resolution, I'm gonna bump this back up to that middle one. I'm going to apply it. And that looks a little bit more like what it's supposed to look like. But I remember when I made this dock, this dock was actually a uh, halfway. Notice how this wheel down here is kind of cut off halfway. I want my actual dock wheel itself to be cut off halfway as well. So I'm going to have to adjust the position of that dock. Um, I'll show you that real quick. Just some quick tips on maybe getting these things to show right on your device. So in KOWP, I know exactly where to hunt for these pieces to get them to show correctly. Again, those wheels are not, that looks all crazy. And that's the advanced editor. Uh, there we go. So it's still not looking right. I want this to be cut halfway off. Well, I know where these things are. Underneath my icons in position, I did have a global link to this. So I'm going to head back to my globals. And right now they are locked. But this one right here is the one that I want to adjust. So I'm going to unlock that. And I'm actually going to edit this code because it's probably not maxed out enough. So I'm going to edit this code here. I'm going to change that max to something like 1080 uh, because that's going to allow me to move this. Now, as you can see, this dock did move up quite a bit. I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to bump this back to 720. 
And that's moving it down some, but I need to move it down some more. Maybe right about there, perhaps. Notice how that wheel's moved down. I'm not worried about that one in the back. That looks kind of crazy right now. But this one looks about right. Let me save that. Let me apply that to the home screen. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, when I made this, I did remember having some of the icons kind of hidden behind this wheel in the front. So let's just test everything out, make sure it works. Uh, tapping these buttons here. Yeah, everything's now back to how it should be. So there's going to be some tweaking that you're going to have to do uh, to some of your presets if you're getting a new device, if you're sharing across various devices. Um, I wanted to point those two things out here. Again, to recap, one, check the screen count, and number two, check your resolution, check your screen sizes. Maybe that's worth including in the description you know uh, put a description of your screen size especially with new devices coming out I, I just have a feeling that a lot more devices are going to have this edgeless display different aspect ratios and and that's something we're going to have to bear in mind going into the future with theming and KOWP and there you have it that's just two quick tips on getting the presets to show correctly in KOWP and that's it for this video I hope it helped